How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to my Tiz Talk Jad guide uh, for all levels uh, for range and mage and a quick note this is not for uh, the fight cave itself this is just for the final boss fight which is the Jad because I find the vast majority of the uh, time people end up dying to the Jad and not to getting up to the Jad. Getting up to the Jad is just a matter of um, keeping supplies and using supplies wisely and killing the monsters effectively and there are tons of alt great guides out there for that as well so this is just for the boss this also works for the fight kiln but i'm going to be focusing on the fight caves because the jads in the fight caves are considerably harder uh so jad is level 702 combat has 4,000 life points on legacy and the reason i say legacy and not eoc is because i strongly recommend you kill jad on legacy mode um even though it's better to go through the fight caves on EOC mode because there are abilities that'll heal your HP and all that, um, the Jad for a first Jad is a lot easier um, if you do it on Legacy. Just because instead of looking at abilities and worrying about abilities, you just need to auto attack. And it just makes it a lot simpler and you can just focus on what you need to focus on uh, so you don't get one hit. Uh, Jad doesn't have a weakness, attacks with all three melee range and magic, uh, but for this guide you're going to be staying out of melee distance. Um, and the max hit is 750 or 7,500 on uh, on EOC. Uh, so strategies: there's a protect prayer method, which I recommend, and then there's the tanking method that requires obesidian armor. Basically, the protect prayer method is you basically need to know the, what the attacks look like, uh, what the Jad's attacks look like, and then basically you just prayer switch um, so that you're always protected and you'll get protected 100% against the Jad, uh, so you won't be hit at all. Um, now the tanking method requires obsidian armor and that's a lot tougher basically obsidian armor gives you a huge damage reduction about 45% against any obsidian creatures uh, which lowers his max hit to about 400-ish um, um, which makes it a little more manageable if you want to just attack him and tank all the attacks and just eat tons of food uh, but once again that's only if the protect prayer method absolutely fails you and you can't handle it okay so now ways to boost your max HP uh, basically, you want to make sure you've got more HP um, than <laughs> than the Jad can hit. So, Rocktail Soup will boost it past your max HP. Uh, Cerebrews and Super Cerebrews will as well. And also, really high-tiered armors, um, like Sea Singers, will also boost your max HP. Uh, now, a couple quick tips. First off, stay calm and focus on prayers. Pay attention only to the Jad. Uh, a lot of the time, you'll just be freaking out and you'll misclick or you'll mi mess everything up just because you're so freaking out that, oh my god, I'm at Jad. Um, don't do that. It, it's very easy if you just stay calm and realize whatever happens, happens. If you succeed, you succeed. If you don't, you don't. And you'll have a much better chance of succeeding that way. And also, if you get hit by the Jad, uh, the instinct is to eat a bunch of food. Uh, you're going to die if you eat a bunch of food. Because if you're eating a bunch of food instead of focusing on your prayer switching, he's going to hit you another 750 and then you're going to die. So if you're hit, just keep prayer switching. Even if you're down to 300 or 200 HP, keep prayer switching instead of spam eating. And maybe if you're if you're comfortable with it, between prayer switches, you can go back to your invent and then um, and then eat a eat a food or drink a brew or something like that. Uh, so anyway, guys, now on to the actual um, commentating over me getting a fire cape and killing the Jad, and I'll explain to you everything I do and why I do it. Okay, guys, so this is the wave before the Jad. Uh, so you're going to want to be standing where I'm standing so you can tuck behind this rock. This rock is called Italy Rock, uh, so you're going to want to hide right in there, and that gives you a very high chance of the Jad spawning um, without being able to attack you right away, so he'll get stuck on the rock. Now, there's a chance he spawns south of you, but if that happens, uh, basically just be ready to prayer switch. Uh, so there is the Jad right there. He's lured, so the fight starts when I want it to. Boost your HP up to max, pot up, and just get ready to attack. You're going to want to pray range because he usually attacks with range first. Um, and yeah, when you're ready, run out. Uh, so, when he stomps his feet and you see the shockwave, pray range. Uh, when he bows his head and you see fire, pray mage. And it's as simple as that. So basically just have your mouse on the other prayer that you're not using. So there's a mage attack. Uh, so just notice, I'm not, I'm not even using sounds for this. There's a range attack. So you just need to look out for what he's doing and then pray accordingly. So that's why it takes all your attention. That's why I prefer doing this with, um... EO, with the legacy over EOC. Just, it doesn't divert your attention nearly as much. But... As you can see, it's not that challenging. His attack interval is pretty pretty slow. It's like 3.6 seconds, so you have plenty of time to switch prayers. Now, halfway through the kill, healers come. So this is where a lot of people die. You need to attack all the healers. You don't need to kill them, but you need to get them all onto you. Uh, so basically, a lot of the time, it'll divert your attention, and then you'll get killed. What you need to do is you need to click once uh, to run around or to attack a healer, and then go back to your prayers. Um, every single time so you, you don't rush the healers you don't get all four in four straight attacks or instantly you basically take your time with getting them that's the most important thing and as long as they're lured away from the jad he won't heal anymore 
Uh, so there, there it is. And as you can see, they're all lured. Jad's not being healed anymore. And now it's just like it was at the start. Uh, so basically, the best way to deal with the healers is just pay attention to the Jad the whole time. Just click on the healer, get them onto you, and then uh, move away from the Jad. Do it one at a time. Do it carefully. Do it slowly. And that's it. There's your Jad. Uh, so feel free to watch over this clip as many times as you want. This was a basically correctly how to do the Jad. I know I got hit right at the end. That's because I prayed Soul Split as just as a, as a joke. Um, but yeah, and there you got your Fire Cape. It's it's pretty simple. Just make sure to stay calm and don't mess up on the prayer switches. And if you do, make sure that you're um, you're ready to uh, keep prey switching instead of spam eating. And it's pretty pretty much as simple as that. So anyway, guys, hopefully you guys found this guide helpful. I sort of talked about how you're gonna do it. Um, hopefully you now know what the attacks look like. Um, and yeah, hopefully now you be able to get that jad and not die on that jad. Just remember, keep calm and jad on. So thanks, guys. Um, so much for watching this video. Have a great one and peace.